Have you ever done or said something that you instantly regretted and then you begin to beat yourself up for it? And whether it's in your head or out loud, you begin to say things to yourself like, I'm so stupid or I'm such an idiot. Well, if you're like most people, you probably aren't even aware of the number of times a day you engage in negative self-talk. In this video, I'm going to explain the danger your negative thoughts and words can have on you and give you a few tips to help you break the habit. Hello, I'm Wendy Rapp, spiritual life coach and intuitive reader. On this channel, I help you as a spiritually awakened person grow and evolve on your soul's journey. And if you enjoy spiritual material like this, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Sunday. We're all guilty of berating ourselves at some time or another, saying things to ourselves like, I'm too old to try that, or I'm just not creative, or, I could never do that, things always go wrong for me, I'm just not good enough. When you say things like that, you're engaging in a conversation with the universe. Words carry a vibration to them. And if you'd like proof of that, you should check out a book called The Hidden Messages in Water by Dr. Masuru Emoto. It's absolutely fascinating. But words and even thoughts, the unspoken words in your head, have a vibration. So if you're thinking negative thoughts and negative words, you're going to emit negative energy. And when you put emotion behind it, then you're going to be creating a very powerful negative energy that will manifest in your life. The danger of negative self-talk, even if these are things that you're just thinking in your own mind, is the more you think these things or the more you say these things, the more you will begin to embody these things, these negative thoughts, and it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy for you. So how do you stop the habit of negative self-talk? Well, the first step is to just acknowledge you have that habit. Once you've acknowledged the habit, then your second step is to make it your intention to stop. And when you put your intention on something, that means you have to put your awareness on it. So you have to be mindful of your self-talk during the day. Now, when you catch yourself saying something negative or demeaning to yourself, stop. Just stop yourself cold in the middle of whatever you're thinking. And remember, whatever judgment you're making by that negative self-talk, because that's a judgment, it's not a fact. Remind yourself it's not a fact. It's just words. It's just a judgment you are creating for yourself. And by the way, don't judge yourself either when you catch yourself doing it, saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't break this habit. Just let go of the judgment. So once you stop yourself, I want you to then take a positive thing about yourself, something positive, something you can easily agree with. Um, you know, whether you're a good cook, or I'm a good mother, or I'm a hard worker, or I'm good, whatever it is that you can say positive about yourself, that you can be in agreement with. Replace the negative statement with the positive one. And another good thing that you can do is, and I know this is gonna sound silly, but trust me, it works. And it might feel uncomfortable at first, but trust me, you'll get past that. Every morning, smile at yourself in the mirror and say something positive about yourself. Now, it doesn't have to be about your looks. It can be about, an accomplishment. It can be about an attitude you have. It can be, it can be about anything positive about yourself that you'd like it to be. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything grand. I mean, you could look at yourself in the mirror and say, I look good in blue. Ooh. Or I um, am a good mom to my children, to my pets. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. And it might even seem silly. And if you can make yourself laugh a little bit while you're doing it, that does help to um, raise your vibration and also helps you to kind of believe it a little more, believe it or not. You, you feel, well, this is true, it feels funny, but I can laugh instead of feeling uncomfortable about it. But the more you do it, just every morning, and every morning try to come up with something new that you like about yourself, 
say it in the mirror, look yourself in the eye when you say it, and over time you'll find it becoming very easy and very natural for you, and you'll begin to really appreciate yourself, those qualities that you are talking about in the mirror, and you'll begin to feel them and embody those qualities, and it will help you to break away slowly from the negative self-talk. And another good step to helping you break your negative self-talk is to ask yourself, would you talk to someone you love that way? Would you talk to a best friend that way? If you are a spiritually awakened person, you are here to help embody love. And I'm sure you most likely do toward everyone else, but you have to show it to yourself as well. Love starts here. If you are not loving yourself, you're not embodying that love, that vibration that we want to send out to the universe. So you have to start with being good to yourself. Engaging in negative self-talk destroys all the gifts and abilities that you were born with. You came here with your own unique set of gifts and abilities to help you grow and evolve and to also help you as a light worker, spiritually awakened person, to help raise the planet's vibration. And when we engage in negative self-talk, we are diminishing that vibration. So we need to embody that love that we want to see for everyone else, embody it in ourselves. It has to start with yourself. When you are able to embody that love, you're able to shine your light brightly to help share that light with the world, to help raise the planet's vibration, but it's your responsibility to take care of that light. I hope that information was helpful for you. If you have any questions about today's video or any other subjects at all, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. You can link up with me on social media. The links are below in the description box. And as always, you are a spark of the divine. Share your light with the world. Blessings.